The best executives with whom I've worked make a point of hitting the road. Some hit the road as soon as they take a new position in a new company. Others make it a practice to visit the field on a regular basis. All have found the practice insightful. As novelist John Le Carre opined, the desk is a dangerous place from which to view the world. While Le Carre, aka David Cornwell, was writing about spy masters, his insight is relevant. The view from headquarters is not only skewed, it's intoxicating. You know, skewed comes from this upward flow of information, and executives underneath can shade it so they take out all the bad news. It's intoxicating because from on high, you feel empowered, or rather a bit drunk on the notion that everything's going according to plan. Well, of course, seldom is that the case. Executives who get out of their offices and make treks to the front lines, as well as to customer locations, get firsthand impressions of what's happening, as well as what's not happening. And it's not enough to show up. You need to engage. Savvy executives will dispense with elaborate dog and pony show presentations. They will have real conversations about how the work is going and listen to how people respond. Ask questions, and most important, listen to what you hear. What are people telling you? If you're only hearing good news, maybe people are afraid of you or of losing their job. If it's even-handed or even bad, that means they trust you. Better always to default to the latter than the former. Hitting the road to discover what's going on is time-consuming and wearying, but it's necessary for any executive who expects to lead with a clear head and an even more clear vision of the future.